Hello everybody and welcome to my second video on After Effects Tutorials CS6 and in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to get rid of the green screen footage like the background part of the green screen and add a background for the green screen and then you'll be able to put whatever you want in the background so uh, first what we're gonna do is have an image if you have an image or a video clip that you have just drop it in the new comp button and right here we just have a road the side of a side of a road and just a simple image it's about 30 seconds long and so next what we're gonna do is grab a footage of the green screen and put it on top of the road which I have here is a car it's already animated because of this one channel that is a great channel they have a whole bunch of green screen footage you should check them out their channel is footage island and they're on YouTube yeah obviously and I'll put an annotation if you'd like to click on it, click on the annotation, check out the channel. They have a lot of green screen footage that you can use for free. And yeah, so basically we just have it animated already. And the wheels are moving. There's a nice glare going past the car as it goes past any objects or whatever. And so if you'd like to get rid of the green screen background, you we will have to add a key light. So we go to key effects and then go down to keying and select key light 1.2 for whatever whatever level of after effects you're on that's one you will pick and right here we just grab the eyedropper tool and we just basically just click on the the area where it's green so you just click it and basically the car is already done it's not not nothing that too difficult but if you have like a really fast moving object like let's say if you're swinging a stick around trying to make it something in the background or something like that that maybe you have to add like a screen gain just to change it up a little bit no, wait let's just solo this way right now and as you can see it is by itself and as you can see there's a little bit just something a little bit of the green screen showing on the wheels and a little bit below the car but it's nothing nobody can notice but if you'd like to have a really impressed crowd of what you have done just pull up the screen in just a little bit if like for this image not, nothing too difficult I mean this video footage anyways nothing too difficult but if you have something more serious then yeah that that might take a while so you just gotta pay attention to that and there's a whole bunch of options that you could do so just experiment with everything around there and you should hopefully get a good effect yeah so now we're done with the key light and so basically what we do have to do next is like animate it if you like and color correct it so that it matches the matches the background basically so it doesn't look, look odded out like it's you can tell it's totally fake like right now you can so what we're going to do here is add an effect and go to color correction and go all the way down to curves you could pick any other ones there's like different types that you can fix around and if you know about after effects then just go ahead and fix pick the one you want and just mess around with that so what we're gonna do here for the curves I like to use curves that's why I picked it anyways so for the curves what we're gonna have to do is just fix it up so that it matches the area as you can tell the grounds a little bit light so what we're gonna do for this is hit the the color button for the RGB's and change it to red and also change this to red too so we can change it around you gotta be precise and hopefully match what they're trying to do on the background because sometimes you'll mess up but so we're trying to bring up the darkness a little bit and hopefully we'll get the same effect and then next what we're gonna have to do is go to the green wait no oops you can go to green here too and as you can see we're gonna have to keep on doing this for each level of the colors So just bring up the little light, and next go to blue. I have a feeling this is gonna make the my car. It's gonna look odded out. I don't. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. But you have to really take your time on this, so you want it to match your scene, so it doesn't look odded out. Like I said before, maybe bring this down a little bit. And after that, that's it. You don't need to go to alpha unless you really know what you're doing. And I don't know about alpha, so I'm just doing these three because this is where your matches. And once you go back to RBG, that's RGB, I mean, then you should get your final results. Hopefully I did good. 
Wow, that doesn't look that good, but <laughs> it looks kind of funny actually. So let me just reset that. Maybe I'll just fix RGB. RGB is easier. All you do is just drag it up or down. And since it's a tutorial, hopefully you guys will understand. Like I said in my last video, I just like to make videos to show you guys what to do and hopefully get the basic idea. And yeah, so hopefully that'll be good enough. I don't know. I know I can, I, I can tell it's fake, but okay, so that's good enough. So next what we're going to want to do is animate it, obviously. So basically what we're going to do is hit P on our keyboard and bring up our position keyframe thing. And so what we want it to do is to go past uh go past our scene basically. So what we're gonna do is hold wait, no, we're gonna click the positioning first. Don't forget that. And then we move forward a couple of frames, so just drag your time slider and next what we're gonna do is hold shift if you want a straight line and drag your wait, oh hold shift and then drag your image, so it, I mean, your footage, why do I keep on saying image? And then it'll make a perfectly straight line so you don't have to worry about little curves and stuff. And basically, yeah, so then it'll just drive by. So as you can see, that's pretty slow for a fast car that looks that fast. So what you're going to do if you want to speed it up, just bring the keyframe a little bit closer to the other keyframe and it'll go way faster. Like, that's pretty fast. I mean, that's not pretty fast, but it's okay for footage right here, as you can tell. And if you'd like to give it more of a realistic look, we will try to add a motion blur, which is this. Just click toggles and switches if you're on this mode, and just switch it to this, and then click motion blur on the video footage that you have. As you can tell, this is click off here and see what it looks like. As you can tell, that looks pretty nice, but a little bit too fast, but let me open it up. And so I'm just going to bring it back just a little bit. So there. So now we just click away and see the final results. It's pretty nice. And so if you'd like, you could make it your own, basically. And having a green screen is pretty fun. I don't really have one, so that's why I just use this random footage. But I know how to change it up and stuff like that, so... Yeah, so if you'd like, you could really make a cool action scene, stuff like that, using green screens. So, yeah, so guys, that's basically it on the green screen video. I don't know what to call it, but I'll name it anyways. But you guys should already found it, and you know the name. But I'm going to name it, like, green screen footage store or something like that. And so hopefully you guys found this very helpful, and... Hopefully you'd like to subscribe to my channel because I make tutorials and I have little short videos that I made out of what I've learned in many tutorials I've watched and I will upload them to my channel so if you're interested in that kind of stuff just please subscribe and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And, oh wait, if you'd like to see a more advanced advanced tutorial, check out these people called Corridor Digital. I will put their name up on their screen. Uh, so you can check them out there. They're, they're advanced, but so they know a lot more than me, but they're obviously teaching more. So just check their video out. They're really helpful and see you guys in the next video.